Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to talk about completely different topic and this is going to be chat GPT. Chat GPT has been very popular these days therefore I decided to work on chat GPT. I mainly work on genome editing and I have worked on genome editing of citrus before. Therefore today I am going to talk about chat GPT and genome editing and I am going to ask chat GPT how we can do genome editing. So let's go ahead and see how chat gpt will help you for genome editing in plants especially i'm going to focus on crop citrus so let's start with chat gpt and today i'm going to show how we can work on genome editing therefore i'll ask chat gpt to see if it can design guide rna for a specific crop so i'm going to type guide rna d design for genome editing in citrus guide rna design for genome editing in citrus okay so it will take some time in the beginning then it will start typing the outcome so let's wait for some time then it might be able to show us the detail so guide RNA design for genome editing in citrus so it will okay it started guide RNA design is a okay crucial step oh okay it is giving some background also that's a good thing CRISPR Cas9 system I forgot to add that one and it did th that for us so the f the following are the steps and the first step is identify the target sequence okay <laughs> we want to identify the target at first correct and this sequence should be unique to the target gene okay art locus oh. Okay. oh it is giving us a lot of details okay and it should not have any significant similarity in other genes so it is also talking about the off targeting and design the guide rna once the target sequence is identified the next step is to design the guide rna and the guide rna is 20 nucleotide target sequence that is complementary to the target sequence in the genome okay followed by a three to four nucleotide proto spacer okay pam motif it is talking about pam motif also okay <laughs> And the PAM motif is necessary for the Cas protein to recognize and bind to the target sequence. Yes. And it also, okay, it is also checking for the off targeting. Okay. Yeah. This is pretty impressive. So it is better than what I thought. It is like if somebody is new to genome editing, then they can just go to chat GPT and type the stuff if they don't know anything also it will give you the steps then you can just follow the steps so following steps require a lot of details because identification of target is itself a lot of work and same thing with the design of the guide arena it takes some time and also for checking the off target so maybe i can come back and i can see like how we have how we can see the off targeting also and the fourth one is validate the guide RNA activity okay so we can do in citrus cell tissue or mostly people doing protoplast or callus okay <laughs> into the cells using the biolistic transformation or agrobacterium okay it is giving a lot of details biolistic or agrobacterium mediated okay and then analyzing the irritation efficiency by pcr sequencing or other method okay optimize the guide and expression okay optimize guide and expression in citrus cells or tissues this can be achieved by Selecting a suitable promoter, okay. Talking about the U6 or U3 promoter and optimizing the guide add and concentration and different delivery method. Okay, so I think the chat GPT is very busy and there is a network error. So I'm going to do the regenerate the response. It should be able to give us a different response. Okay, now this time it is faster. Okay. Oh, it is giving a different result. Okay, design the guide RNA. It is talking about CRISPR P, CRISPR OR, and Benzling 
for guide design okay and even for off targeting it is talking about cache of finder crispr g chop chop okay pretty impressive and cloning the guide array into the expression vector okay also talking about the expression vector and verifying the guide RNA activity before using the guide RNA okay genome editing okay so this is the first step it is talking about guide RNA design for genome editing in the citrus okay that's good and second question I'm going to ask is how to clone the citrus guide RNA to expression vector okay let's see okay <laughs> yeah I think even even for learning purpose it is very easy because if somebody is new to genome editing then they can get a lot of details they don't have to go through google look for other literature and it may not be complete you need some background knowledge but but it's still pretty impressive it's much better than what i thought so you choose an appropriate expression vector correct obtain the guide RNA sequence okay and add the appropriate overhang to the guide RNA sequence okay a lot of details and ligation of the guide RNA sequence to the expression vector okay and Verify the guide RNA sequence. So you can do it by sequencing also. Yeah. Overall the cloning of a citrus is involved. Okay. Now transformation. Okay. Transformation of CRISPR plasmid to citrus tissues. Okay. CRISPR, okay, CRISPR Cas9. <laughs> okay, here are some steps for transforming CRISPR Cas9 plasmid into the citrus tissue using agrobacterium, okay? Select an appropriate CRISPR Cas9 plasmid, okay? That is very important. The plasmid we choose. And second step is prepare the agrobacterium strain, okay? And prepare the citrus tissue, embryogenic callus or young leaf, okay? Co culture the citrus tissue with agrobacterium, okay? Regenerate the transgenic plants, okay? Verify the genome editing, okay? Yeah, all of the details, okay? Genome editing, editing in citrus fur. This is okay. Genome editing in citrus. Okay, identify the target. Design the guide RNA. Okay, clone the guide RNA in the expression vector. Similar thing that we it said before and regenerate the transgenic plant. Okay, now this has a lot of data. So confirm the edit gene editing, test disease resistance. Okay. Yeah. A lot of details. Okay. Now this is a lot of information for genome editing and CRISPR Cas9. Okay, I can ask more questions, but I think this is a lot for this video and, and I'm going to talk more on coming video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like the content and want to learn more about chat GPT and genome editing, please subscribe to my channel and share my content. Thank you so much and see you in next video.